What's up, guys? Cliff here from Not Gospel Studios, and the show we have for you guys today is sort of a behind-the-scenes look at the creative process for our show, Big Little Church. Now, this video is a talk between myself, Joel, and Chandra, and we just sort of kind of go over uh, some of the jokes, some of the uh, creative process, again, uh, the reasons for Big Little Church, why we got excited about this project, and what we hope to deliver in the future for this project. And this uh, also is gearing us up for our mega episode, Snow Day, which is about to release this coming week. So we hope you guys enjoy this little behind-the-scenes sneak peek, and uh, if you have any questions about the show, you can feel free to write them in the comments. Keep supporting independent creative content and keep being awesome because that's how god I made you. you play the bass. <laughs> there is a number one record behind your head and you forgot that i played bass <laughs> this is what i have to work with people are you watching this mm. welcome back guys thank you guys so much uh for tuning in Cliff, Chandra, and Joel Jackson here today. We've been working on some big projects here at Not Gospel Studios, and today we're going to talk about those projects, uh, talk about the, the the next month or so, like what it's going to look like. Uh, and yeah, it's going to be fun. We have no idea. They don't even know why they're here. I just told them to show up, offered them some cookies. Um and here we are. So uh, thank you guys so much. Also, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing on all the new stuff. Now more than ever, having a creative space for conservatives and Christians to create content and supporting that content is is uh, now more than ever, it's super important. Um, things are getting more and more polarized. And uh, so yeah, like, comment, and share these videos if you can with uh, anybody you think would be interested. This is not gospel. Big Little Church. We're about to, to roll out the first bit of this mini series. And uh, so, Joel, mm. for a second here, I think people need to know what what our reason for making this show was. Like, what is the heart behind this show? Well, I called you, was it December? I think it was in December. Yep. And we had talked about this idea that was basically the office but it was for church. Mm -hmm. And I called you in December and we started talking and then it just kind of ramped up steam. And then we just said, let's film some test footage or whatever. And that turned into some episodes that we're going to release. Um, I didn't even really know the idea behind it until we started it. And then I was like, oh, this is about how church is great. And the yeah. funny stuff that happens, it's about, in my opinion why it's great to be connected to church, but it's about the hilarious yeah. stuff that happens at church. Yeah, I agree. I, I agree with you on like, it kind of felt like the heart of the show developed as we started doing yes. more and more stuff. Yes. And so for me, it eventually, it started out as me making fun of myself in the worst ways possible. Like, how can I be just as goofy as possible? Yeah. And then it started being like, nah, but like, how, what is the service? What is the point of this thing for, for Christians and for other than just being funny? Because obviously the point of comedy is just to be funny. If people are yeah. laughing, you're like, hey, we're winning. But it's yeah. like, what was the point? What's the heart? And well, I started seeing, like you're saying, like, well, church is relevant. And church, the peop, most of the people in church, it's not saying that they get it right all the time, but most of the people in church yeah. want their communities to be better. They want to help people yeah. out. Like That's what they want to do. They may try to do it in, in quirky ways is the best way to put it. They may try to help people in quirky ways, but it doesn't mean that their heart is not in the right place. And we didn't film this or even write the script for it, but that's why kind of one of my first ideas was this idea of like the church puts on a hell house. <laughs> and, and and like what they're trying to do that. what they're trying to do is tell people about Jesus, but you have like some old people and some Halloween families. Hill House. They're, yeah, they're yeah. trying to be scary, but it's like the worst thing ever. But then, like at the end, some kid comes up and like asks for like a gospel track or whatever or something. And it's oh, I like, remember we were like, "There's gonna be 
candy in one basket and the gospel track card yeah. in the other, and he reaches, goes and grabs the gospel track card or whatever. Yeah, and he just even he though just, we've been making fun of ourselves the entire show, and, and then like someone like your dad or whoever would come up and be like, "That's what it's all about," and then that's where it ends. So it's like to get to that moment, we're making fun of these people just doing these ridiculous things but yeah. at the end there is a lesson and it's about why church is great yeah chandra uh so our goal was to get my brother in a total red uh outfit with the horns and the pitchfork and tail that'd be fun outside i knew you'd love that idea yeah. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know my brother plays dennis uh, langford in the show mm -hmm. and he's not acting at all he's just a, he's typically annoyed with me 100% of the time <laughs> And he just gets to do it on film. It's great. <laughs> so, and Chandra, uh, Chandra now, how long have you been helping me on Not Gospel stuff in Not Gospel Studios? How long have you, how long, how long has it been since we've been doing this partnership? I don't know. I Two or three months? Three months? Four months? I don't know. I stepped back Life in is a blur. January. January. Because I had, I get too angry with liberals. <laughs> and then it's bad for the brain. I think that's yeah. Joel, Joel had to take a beat from uh, from the I, polarized nature of our culture. I'm right now. now I'm now kind of doing helping the big little church stuff, and that's good. And taking a break yeah. From, and you're doing in your worship pastoring, and and uh, yeah. and uh, I actually started doing a little bit more worship pastoring yep. myself. Yep. Um, I also am a worship pastor. Yeah. <laughs> Chandra sells feet pics. <laughs> But, on OnlyFans, <laughs> I'll cut that out. That's that's why I think the the show is interesting because we all kind of come from like growing up in church. Yeah, and everybody that I've talked to thinks this idea is golden. It just hasn't been done yet, in my opinion, because I think a lot of Christians don't know how to be funny. But I think you and I kind of understand well, this tongue in cheek thing. See, I feel like. I feel like it's been taboo because people, yeah. Christian people, take themselves too serious. Mm -hmm. Obviously, when you're dealing with spiritual matters, it's a serious thing. You know, you're dealing with people's yeah. eternities. That's a, there's nothing more serious or more important or relevant than that. But it doesn't mean you gotta treat every waking moment without any humor. Well, I say this: it's like I'm certain, and I, I'm certain that Jesus and the disciples, when they're hanging around the campfire probably told some jokes did some burping did some tooting laughed about it i mean well and to, to me like there's nothing funnier than human psychology and that's what this is all about because we have your character who is his ego is like so that's fragile completely absurd and he, oh, do, yeah. he does everything he can to protect it and he can't admit yeah. when he's done something wrong so like yeah, and, and at the same time, you definitely get that vibe. It's like we're talking about that. At the end of the day, he yeah. wants, he does want to help people. You yes. know, and it, even if at times his motivations yeah. are wrong, you want the whole episode to kind of back go back around to that. And then, right. Chandra, right. I never thought we'd get you on camera for anything on the show, like honestly, because I've known you my, basically my whole life. And mm -hmm. so the fact that you were willing to play Delilah, which... We've done one quick clip with Delilah. We're going to try to get more clips depending on what you'll allow us to do. Yeah. That, that whole thing. <laughs> we'll like, see how this one goes. <laughs> that whole name, I thought it was hilarious because it was like, I could just imagine your character saying like, Delilah, quit being such a Delilah. Like, <laughs> like you just throw in these ridiculous Bible, the Bible references. references. And so that's, that's something in the show that every one of the clips we try to do, like these ridiculous Bible references. Not that the Bible is ridiculous, but that that him he, he's trying to he's interpret trying it to, to his literally put bible on every possible thing mm -hmm. like the clip in the woods where he's like like the he, david and goliath he says he gets his son down and he says <laughs> look david had a sling and three stones and that was basically the first ar-15 come here listen when david fought goliath he had a sling and five smooth stones that was basically the first ar-15 he took out a giant. Imagine what you can do with something like that. Imagine the kind of hole you can tear into the devil with the righteous indignation of a 22 long rifle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Or yeah. like uh, we got the pawn shop thing where your brother is like, 
uh, you said something about there being a good deal. He he said Jesus would look for the better better deal, and then you were like, you pull out the Bible and you're like, yeah, Where better deal ain't in here. Where show me the verse? Yeah, show me the verse. <laughs> I'm glad he's your friend. But what what Jesus, does that have to do with? What the, would Jesus do in this situation? He would look for the better deal. Oh, really? Would look for the better deal. Where'd you find that? Which Bible verse? See, there's Exodus, there's John, there's something. Yeah, find a better deal ain't in here. And that's just sort of like, like that, that poking a little fun at that, like because everybody knows that person that no matter what yep. that has the Bible verse for yeah. every situation, and uh, it's not that again, it's not that their intentions are bad or whatever. Their intentions are good. It's just sometimes it's like well, it's it, a little cringy at times. It's it's the it's it's hilarious because it's like you look at the Bible and like technically that whole thing is about getting the better deal in life, but it just <laughs> it just passes by I've never him. Thought of that. It passes by him completely. Uh, He's like, "Yep, better deal ain't in here." Like, oh, you ruined that whole scene for me now. <laughs> no, it's no. That's what's funny though is his missing like. So he's con like missing the point. He's missing the point constantly, but you know it. Like we're filming it as a yeah. joke. Like you know the answer. Like when he's like, "Look, how old's the Bible? At least a couple hundred years." And then Colin, like we go straight to Colin, and he's like. The New Testament Which alone is over he, 1,900 years old. I'm going to speak for him. He loves this, by the way. He loves getting to be on film, acting as annoyed with me as humanly possible. Yeah, he's freaking good, man. That's why he's so, yeah, he's, he's a natural at it. At it because yeah. it's like, you mean to tell me my brother is want, he's asking me to be annoyed with him? Done. Sold. Mm -hmm. Sign me up. But even just like acting, like he can kind of naturally fall into his delivery is good. You guys both have have done that, and that's something just with my movie that not everybody can do, or it takes time to develop. But and Chandra, so there's a scene where you're laughing uncontrollably. Was that acting? Yes, I'm a wonderful actress. I knew it. <laughs> See, so you guys, she's available. We'll put her contact information <laughs> in the description. She's available for auditions. I already, I have a profile online because I wanted to be an extra for an Avengers movie that was shooting in Ohio once and I didn't get to go. Oh, no. But I have tried. <laughs> I'm literally learning this brand new about you for the first time. You don't know here. anything about me, Clifton. <laughs> this is not the first time you've accused me of not knowing anything for various reasons. The first time is because I didn't know Jason Momoa's ex-wife's name oh. and I don't know anything. What was there's something else? Lizard people. I didn't know about <laughs> lizard people, and I know nothing. Yeah. I'm, she's John Snowing me over here, dude. No, but I love the general industry. But I never. We live in Kentucky. I never had a way into anything. And yeah. when you started having ideas, it was like, ooh, let me try something. Well, so like, oh, wow. I, so you did this after we started doing film stuff. You put it on there to be an extra. No, it was before. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, and here, so, um. Why Big Little Church? Why are we doing this? Why would we start do doing this sort of show? I think uh, I think the Christian world needs something that is genuinely hilarious, and I do not think it has that yet because I don't necessarily agree that they've been scared of the humor. I just don't think they know how to do it. And that might mm. sound arrogant and like, I'm think we're hope funnier than everyone. I'm not saying that. I just know from watching all these Christian films and every Christian film, there's the comedy scene and it's like from totally in left, like in, in fireproof. The one comedy scene is where the guy tries the hot sauce and they pull a practical joke. Yeah. It's not naturally woven in. And like, I think the Christian world, like humor Humor. What? What? What did these people say? Comedians are like the last line of defense with like free. Did they say was that about free speech or something? Co I think so. Comedy is making fun of something that is like a serious, serious issue. In my opinion, I'm not. A lot of people love John Christ. Yeah, it's too like youth group well, comedy for me. And you did so. Your movie, uh, yeah. Rock for Jesus. You even felt compelled i think to have the comedy moments in yours as well like you had a couple of comedic relief moments in your thing There's how do you think they they went the, okay the, we, in the theater everybody laughed okay. at all right most of them uh there was this older guy with long hair and he's just kind of slower as in 
is an older guy and he just like, I literally just wrote stuff for him to say and it wasn't comedy and people were laughing because he was just trying because of to, his delivery, his delivery. Gotcha. And we don't do that in the Christian world. It is very explicit. Deliberate, like, here's the joke. Yeah. Here's the joke. You're going to fall gotcha. down on a chair and then you're going to fart. Like, whereas this is like Benjamin is constantly twisting things to, to try to protect his ego. And, and that is the funniest yeah. thing is human psychology when you poke fun at that. Yeah. For me, I think also, this is my first, you did a whole film. And so I leaned on you so much for a lot of like a lot of this. But then for me, it's like, it's like uh, there is an opportunity and there's reason and necessity to, to create for Christians to start creating quality entertainment you know, various, of various mm. sorts. And now there's finally becoming outlets for it, you know, like yeah. DW entertainment, uh, DW, uh, daily wire kids, uh, as streaming services have become more prevalent. And, uh, this past month you've have Netflix whose stock went down 60%. Disney's stock went down 30 something percent. Like yeah. people are getting tired of just the same old messaging, the woke messaging. And so there is an opportunity and there's space to create art that's sure. Do, do I hope people walk away from this hopeful and walk away maybe thinking about Jesus more or something like that in their life if they're unsaved or whatever? Like, sh it may, uh, sure. Do I hope that they, it casts maybe a different light on Christianity and that Christians are actually self aware and like m are interesting and creative? Yeah. But at the end of the day, the goal is just to, to make good art, good comedy. I, you know, I, my goal for this thing is that people watch it. And at the end of the day, they see characters like Benjamin and Delilah and all these others that we're going to do. And they say, I want that. That's my family. Yeah. I want to go find a family. I'm going to church. That's my goal. Mm. Chandra, if you had a goal after people watch this, what would it be? You can't spring that question. I know. <laughs> well, that's the thing. You haven't thought of this, and that's something that, like, like, well, all of it with not gospel studios. We're obviously big little church is the first of many. I think new and interesting projects we'll probably get a hold of. Like, what would be your hope and goal for these projects? And starting with big little church and the other, what would be your hope and goal? Well, I mean, because you asked me in the beginning, what's the service? Why? What's the why? Why are we? Why are we providing this for people? You know. So what? What would you hope? they'd get out of it well on a on just a viewer scale um i just want someone to enjoy and have a good time and see some relatable stuff because if you grew up in church there's always people look at that you know yeah. <laughs> so much of it you'll be like oh that was like yeah, brother so and so yeah, and sister what's her face the, yeah. her sister wanda at the church that was her yeah yeah but on a larger scale i'm hoping you have a local Christian company one day that's hiring people mm. that want to be in this industry in Kentucky and you don't have to move to LA and you can have a good job around good people doing Christian content. Christian commerce. That's yeah. something we've talked about is an, another creative space for conservative and Christian creatives to be able to work and create art and yeah. grow and develop together. I agree. I, I agree with that. I remember watching like duck dynasty and that actually came out as my family. Mm. Like, like not have been married, not have kids. So that's not falling apart. But as my, like, what do you call it? Immediate family. Yeah. Yeah. Like they, that was falling <coughs> apart and I was watching duck dynasty. Like, and at the end of it, like I felt better and I felt rejuvenated. I was like, I wish that was my family. And I feel like that's what Christian content should do because duck dynasty, in my opinion, got the comedy, right? Because it's about how insane uncle Cy is and Willie trying to, it's kind of like Ben, he's kind of like yeah, Benjamin. Well, on and, and, and as we go on, we're going to do more of this. We're going to start yeah. branching out to different locations and showcasing a little bit, a, a few yeah. more characters, introducing them. And I think that is the goal is that, Christ Christianity itself is about community. Yeah. We're called the body of Christ. You know, we're all members of one family. And I think, like you said, like if you can have that sort of duck, duck dynasty closeness, like That's what we want. even though Dennis and Benjamin like are at each other's throats half the time or something like that, at the end of the day, it's like you know they're working. There's a love. There's a love know, there. Yeah. Love is the underlying root of and, all of it. And they see that and they say, I want that. I'm going to go to a church and find it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow Big Little Church. Uh, like, comment, and share, and let us know the kind of content you want to see more of. Now is the time to celebrate Christian and conservative creators 
and uh, to support them. Jackson Films, Joel Jackson, Not Gospel Studios, Cliff and Chandra, and Joel. Uh, lots of big projects coming up. Thank you guys for, so much for watching, and keep being awesome, because that's how God made you.